Today we are going to learn layouts and drawable resources in Android. First, let's see what is layout resource. We know that for creating a screen in Android, we need Java file and XML file. Right. Last class we have discussed. That is, we have we need two files for preparing or for developing a screen using Android. Okay. So the first one is Java file and the second one is XML file. And we also know that XML file helps you for layout. That is how your screen should be produced. Okay, so that is the use of XML file. So creating the buttons or creating the UI components, placing it in the correct position, that is done by the XML file and the code behind that is written in Java. So these things we have discussed in the last classes. So layout resource defines the architecture for the UI in an activity or a component of UI. How it is how it is to be displayed and for that what all types of layouts are there so that is layout resource so horizontal vertical so layout attributes so layout important attributes layout width that is the width of the screen layout height height of that whatever resource you are placing either it is a button or whatever it may be what is the height of that what is the width of that margin top top margin bottom margin left margin and right margin okay so these are the general commonly used attributes for layout so Android ID, this is the ID which uniquely identifies the view. With all, this is a unique identification. That is Android ID. Okay. Now come to Android layout types. The first one is linear layout. That is aligning the children in the same direction. Either vertically or horizontally. It is linear layout. That is one after another that pattern okay next is relative layout this enforces to display elements in relation to each other that is which follows which like that that is who is which is who is the parent and who is the child which is coming in the left side which is coming in the right side top side or bottom okay that is the relation how they are related to one another so that is relative layout there is one UI element can be set to be placed on the left of another element. That is a relation or on the bottom of another element. How the layouts or the resources have to be placed. That is relative layout. How the elements are to be displayed. Okay. Next is table layout. As view in table format. That is row will be there column will be there okay that is table layout next is grid view grid view means view group that displays items in a two-dimensional scrollable grid that is many in one that is grid format Sim somewhat similar to our collage okay that is grid view next is list view that is to display the elements in a list manner display a list of items okay it may be used in multiple places from short list of menu options to long list of emails or news feeds. It allows to easily and quickly present a list of items. So for listing something, you can use list view. Okay. Here is an example of linear layout. Layout width match with the parent. Layout height match with the parent. Padding left and padding right. 16 dp. dp is density pixel and Padding means 
the space between border and content that is padding top left right and bottom is that okay so here left and right padding is given as 16 density pixel and orientation is horizontal gravity is center android gravity it specifies how an object should position its content on both x and y axis how the content should be placed it can be center right left and so on okay so that is android gravity here it is center and then include other widgets or layout tags here so if you need any other tags or widgets you can space it over here and you have to close the linear layout tag okay so there's an example of linear layout next is drawable resources it is a general concept for a graphic that can be drawn to the screen and which you can retrieve with APIs. That is the graphics which is to be drawn on the screen. That is drawable resource. Many types are there. First one is bitmap file with the extension .png, jpg or tiff. Graphic is created from rows of different colored pixels and together forms an image so this is a type of drawable resource bitmap file second one is nine patch file the extension is dot nine dot png this is a stretchable bitmap image in which android automatically resize to accommodate the contents of the view it itself resizes it okay that is nine patch file another one is layer list that is array of drawables a drawable that manages an array of other drawables so that is layer list next is scale drawable in this the size of another drawable is changed on the basis of current level value that is you can change the size of it that is scale drawable next is transition drawable that is intended to cross fade between the first and the second layer two layers will be there first layer is gradually fading and then it is slowly moving to the second layer that is transition drawable okay different types of drawable resources are there bitmap file nine patch file layer list state list level list transition drawable inset drawable clip drawable scale drawable and shape drawable okay in today's class we have discussed android layout and drawable resources this is a simple topic hope it was clear for you thank you